So I, I feel like this might piss a couple people off when I say it, but do you think you can get any better at betting over time? I think my answer is going to piss people off. Uh, can you get better at betting over time? Yes. Yes, I think you can get better at betting over time. And I'm, I don't mean after you learn everything about betting. Once you know to spread an over, under, a push, like once you understand what all that means, I don't think you can get much better at betting incrementally like you can everywhere else in life. I think, I, th- I disagree. I think over time you get reps, you start seeing trends, you become smarter. But you can bet against trends and lose. You can bet with trends and lose. Certainly. It doesn't change by the day. Certainly, for sure. But I think there, you know, over time, as you're getting into sports betting, you know, you think favorites are always going to win, right? That's just simply not the case. You get smarter. You pick your spots. I think it's more so rather than seeing better success. Rather than seeing better success, you get better by having better practices and and limiting yourself in situations and knowing when not to bet in situations, knowing when to bet, picking your spots. I think that's how you become a better better. And so I think you can become a better better over time is by just practicing better things to make you a better better. But you're obviously always going to have to battle the books and you're always going to have to be over 54% to make money. And that's always going to be an uphill battle. But to say that you can't get better at betting over time and getting smarter is crazy because, I mean, what do you do every day that you don't get better at? I'm going to say no. But I'm going to say no because there are guys that make models. There are guys that have been betting way longer than we have. There's been guys that bet against trends every time there's guys that bet with trends every time there's guys that only look at the numbers there's guys that look at matchups there's guys that have been doing it forever if betting was legitimately something you could get better at on a year-by-year basis like genuinely better at there would be way more guys whose careers are just betting on sports there are there's not that many though you can't grow up as a kid and be like i want to be a professional gambler in sports betting you can't maybe card playing poker you can get better at because you can read people, you can read the cards. But there's a reason why a profession, when you're growing up, is not a sports better. It's because you cannot get incrementally better like you can in a sport, in finance, and even playing cards. It's like basically saying, I'm going to be a professional dice roller. I mean, technically, yeah, because... You can get better at controlling your losses. You can get better at unit sizes. You can get better at like what you're saying. You can have better practices, but you'll never be a better, better then I think when you kind of hit your cap once you understand how everything works and how to look where the money's at. Uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, everything's a coin flip. If you're taking everything on the spread and minus 110, it's a 50, 50 shot. Even the money line are coin flips now, dude. You got minus 200s losing out. You got minus a thousands losing out. Right. Yeah. But that's just not, that's being a good, better learning and figuring out what's a shit bet and what's not, you Mm. know, and that's where it starts. Yeah, But I think getting better, I think, Let's say a soccer player from middle school to high school, massive leap, high school to college, massive leap, college to the pros, massive leap. You got better. I don't think in a sports better, you go give it 10 years, you're going to be, you know, you'd only be making more money because you upped your unit size. You wouldn't be making more money because you're better at betting. You'd be right. making more money, you'd be losing more money. So it's just you'd just be upping your unit size because you're making more money from outside of sports betting. I don't think you'd be better being like, dude, I hit fucking 80% of my bets now because I've been doing it for so long. You know, guys have been doing it since they were 20 that are 80 now that are still fucking down grands. I think if you, took, like, if you took every, if you treated every day with three plays, you stayed true to taking those three bets, you don't think you'd get better over time. That's what I do. I feel like I've gotten worse. <laughs> <laughs> the platter goes from full hitting to full fading on a daily basis, and I don't change anything about how I look at the games. But that's and that's how you don't get better is by doing the same shit. And yeah, expecting- but then I change and then it still full fades. And then I go back, then I sweep, then I change, and I sweep, then I go back, then I fade. It's like you're never better at bet. You just get. I think you can get hot in betting, like not a lot of other professions, where you can start seeing the board a little clearer. But at the end of the day, you're always going to get bit. I don't think you get better at it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. No, I feel you. I get the argument you're trying to make, but you know, with reps, with practice, you're going to get better over time. 